Guess who? I'm back. Yes, sir. 34 hours on the goddamn train, and I finally made it back to sweet home Chicago. Um, I'm going to edit my travel video a little later, so look for that to be up. Um, I'm just glad to be home for certain reasons. Um, there's no place like home. Click those heels together. Um, plus, I had some things waiting for me here. Uh, some packages. Is that even focused? God, who's been messing with my stuff while I was gone? Who's the jerk? Oh, well. Um, it is very hot in my apartment. Very hot. Oh, my God. It's steaming in here. I left and it was semi-cool. I got back. It's all warm and all the warmth has been trapped in my apartment. No central air. No AC. Just gotta live with it. The fan is over there. I don't know if you can hear it humming in the background. That's where I watch the movies and stuff. So there's no fan over here. I may invest in one later. I don't know. But how's everybody been doing? It's been a while since... I mean, I threw some videos on while I was out in Texas. True. But this is the surroundings. This is Cinema Junkie Central. So, uh, yeah. I was... I was kind of sad to leave in a way. I was a sad, sad, but I could I could have done a few more weeks easily, a few more weeks. Um, everybody is just so hospitable. Uh, I had such great friends out there, uh, family. Love you all. You know who you are. Um, was made not just, just not only was I made to feel welcome, but I felt like I had been missed, which is always, you know, you don't want anybody to be you know, pining over you and stuff, but it's nice when you're missed, when someone notices that you're gone, you know, unlike other places that I've been, it's kind of like, oh, you're there, we didn't know you were there, or, oh, you left, I didn't even know you left, and you know, that that's a bad feeling, that really makes you feel kind of like, geez, you know, why even try, um, but anyways, enough of that, uh, but I did have more than a, a few people tell me that they wanted me to move back to San Antonio. And it was nice to hear that, but it's not in the cards. Moving back to San Diego. San Diego? San Diego. Yes, that's the city I was in. The city of San Diego. San Diego, Texas. Stupid. San Antonio, Texas. It's not in the cards for me to move back there anytime soon. Especially now. It's the middle of summer over there, man. It's like south of hell. I mean, it's ridiculous. Walking around in 100 degree weather, and I'm I'm over here bitching because it's, what, 82 today? I'm in for a world of hurt. But aside from seeing loved ones who did miss me while I was gone here, uh, part of the reason I was really eager to get back is because I knew I had some packages waiting, waiting for me. And they're all right here. Look at this. Ah, yes. Lovely. Smells like movies. These are extra special. These these packages are extra special. Um, I chose every single one of the movies in these packages, and I don't even remember what I got, so it's going to be a nice little surprise, a little reminder, I guess. Excuse my... Ugh, excuse me. A little humid in here. But the reason I was able to get these was because they were a birthday present. A birthday present from a very dear friend, um, an ex-co-worker. I hate using that term because it sounds so final. Oh, that person. I used to work with them. Whatever. Uh, we, we used to work together at a hotel that I worked at. I was a night auditor. Uh, she was mostly the 7 to 3 person, so she would come in, relieve me, send me on my way. Um, but we just hit it off. I mean, we, we really did. We hit it off very well. And uh, I knew underneath the whole, you know, she, she was a very sweet girl. Um, but I knew there was something about her that was just a little more, you know, just something popped. And uh, she started, sure enough, she asked me about uh, a movie, um, El Topo, which I was familiar with. And I guess she had heard in a, uh, a forum somewhere. She was interested in it, and I hunted down a copy of it for her. I guess that was kind of like our our common ground, an interest in the strange. Uh, you always have to have a common ground to jump off of. 
and that was ours. Strange stuff. So many, 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 many years later, uh, we got back in touch uh, thanks to Facebook, and you know we comment each other, hey, how you doing? How's it going? So on and so forth. While I was out there visiting this time, she said, hey, if you're ever in town, come see me. I'm like, sure, I will. So we hung out, had a blast. She was so hospitable and so sweet and so just very generous. Um, I had one, sorry what I'm going to say, son. I love you to death. You know I do. But there were times when I'd be at my son's house and I would just feel kind of like I shouldn't be here. Either there was an argument going on with him and his wife or there was tension or I was just not comfortable there I just felt kind of you know and I wasn't really welcome other places I was told before I got out there don't come here whatever you do don't come here and I go okay so I was chatting I was texting her when I said yeah this kind of blows and she said well if you need a place to stay I got a sofa here you know if you don't mind the sofa I'm I'm cramped on a love seat sofa sounds like a king size bed to me right now so she let me crash on her sofa which was cool and uh it was just good timing, man. And then she found out my birthday was coming up. And I told her that I was going to put on uh, on Facebook, I was going to say, I told people on Facebook, you know, my birthday's coming up. This is the first time I had ever asked for anything for my birthday. But I figured if anybody was going to get me something, get me an Amazon gift card. Because I spend my days and my nights on Amazon through their looking through their penny DVDs. And she says, oh, that sounds cool. I hope you get one. I hope you get a few. I said, man, I hope I get a dozen of those suckers, you know. Um, I didn't. I didn't get any. I didn't get any except one, and it was from her. And it was a $30 Amazon gift card. Now, so I was really surprised because I didn't drop that hint for her to get me anything. And yet she did, which was the coolest thing ever. So that's what these movies are from, was from her gift card. So these, all these movies technically really are from her for my birthday. So, Claudia, thank you so much, and thank you for everything you did for me. I know that you, a lot of times you went out of your way, and, and um, it was just a very sweet gesture, so I just want to throw that out there. Thank you, Claudia. You're an awesome person. Awesome person. And let's get on with the unpackaging. Let's see what she got me. Uh-oh. Son of a bitch. Now, y'all know what that noise is, right? And I just said y'all because I just came back from Texas, so leave me alone. You know what that noise is? That's the sound of death. Everybody who orders DVDs hates that noise. That's the sound of a loose DVD, people. Oh, this was a gift from my son. Isn't it great? Thank you, Justin. You're awesome, dude. Ooh, I think this is the first time I ever cut anything open with it. Wow, it's like butter. Like mantequilla and a hot tortilla. Yeah, I'll be dropping a few of those little deals, too. Sometimes you just cannot wash the Texas off of you. It just sticks. I've had, I've had so many people get on me for saying y'all. And I was almost out of that habit, and then I went back. Okay, first up we have, and it's a broken case, too. Where is this from? Tell, please tell me. You are logged. Tyrone did it, son of a bitch. It says here, you are logged in as Tyrone. Where's this from? I don't even know what company this is from. Hold on, guys. Sellbackyourbook.com What was I thinking? I think they said that there was some damage to the cover and stuff, which, you know, I was expecting that. It's Wolf Creek, everybody. Everyone that knows me knows I love this movie. And I know a lot of you out there hate this movie, but that's okay. Wolf Creek. First one on there. You got some cover damage right here, and they said that in there, but they didn't say they're going to send this to me loose. And there it is, loose. Scratched all to fuck. Scratched! You scratched my DVD. Uh, yeah. Surface scratches galore, but I'm sure it'll play. 
no biggie. I just hate when they don't take the time. See, look, it's not broken. This part, a little fastener, isn't broken. You put that disc in there, and it snaps right in. Look, huh? Hey, aha! Very simple. Why can't they do that? I swear, some people, man, lazy. Oh, okay. This is from CJ Sales One Two Three. Ooh. Okay. CJ Sales One Two Three sent me to see Wee Wee. Hmm. Put it all the way in, Derek. Don't it feel good? cutting part of this is kind of short and then the rest of it's serrated so it's a nice knife I do like it this is a little movie called breathing room I'm sure I read about it and thought hmm, not bad I also like to check out the customer reviews the little short customer reviews I check how many stars they give it and a little bit of what they say because sometimes I'll give it a three star which sounds pretty average but then when you read the description, it's like, I only gave it three stars because it sucked ass. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Three stars is bad to you. So you have to really read into those things sometimes. Um, cover, I've seen better. It looks a little slashed. But as far as the actual cover art is concerned, it looks to be decent. Just have to switch out the case. No big deal. Uh, the disc itself is has a couple of finger smudges, but I I will live. A little bit of dust, no scratches. Hooray for me. This was a penny. Every one of these was a penny. Breathing room. Okay, moving on. This is from Dimple Incorporated. I am going to I was gonna order a movie from uh one place and I steered clear of it only because it got such bad reviews it wasn't Dimple of course because I got it right here what was it called I don't know I'll find out where, what store it was and tell you all about it I'll put, I'll put the link to the video that I saw the bad review on it was from uh, Sinister, Sinister Cinema 1990 this one video store bad starts with a D Shit, I can't remember. Anyways, Dimple Records. I think I've ordered from them before. Yeah, I'm almost positive. Mm, a little dusty, but hey, what do you want? Sideshow. Looks kind of creepy. But I can usually tell when, when I get stuff from Dimple because they have these little stickers on there that say horror. Like they were rentals at one time, or they were in a library or something. Goddamn eco cases. Oh, we're doing so good. Why? There's a hair on there that won't blow off. Get out of there, hair. I'm going to mistake you for a surface scratch. Uh good very nice very nice clean almost batted a thousand on that one guys but then you threw it in an eco case so I don't like you anymore but this I know where this is from this is from a good friend from Abunda Trade Abunda Trade and I'm going to show you, because there were varying degrees of good and bad. There was good, very good. I, I stuck to good and very good. I didn't get anything average or anything like that. So let's see what the quality of these bad boys are. And I've never gotten anything in a box before, so how many did I order? Last time I ordered, last time I ordered four or five, and they all came to me in one bag. I'm like, why did you do that? You made me very angry. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're cooking with gas, Mabel.
pillows. Lots of pillows. Woo! Save the children. Come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven movies. Yay! Seven big old movies. Ooh. All right. First, I got The Whaler 2. La Llorona 2. I've never seen part one. I gotta stop doing things blocking my light. I've never seen part one, but all the reviews I've read said that this is better than part one. And they say you don't need to watch part one to get part two. So I said, why not? I'll take a chance on it. If I like this one, I will give I will give the part one a chance. The Abunda Trade, really, I love Abunda Trade because this is all clean, super clean, no dust, no nothing. They, I know they take brand new cases and re, reinsert the artwork, no eco friggin' cases, and the disc is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I can tell it's been run through like a machine to kind of like take all the little scuff marks off of it and stuff, but that's that's good for me, right? So, we got the Whaler 2. We got Sweet Insanity. I've been dancing around with this one for a while. Oh, they got one of those stickers up there, too. I've been dancing around with this title for a while. I've been wanting to see this one for a while. Um, I put it off and put it off, and then I finally saw the opportunity to get it, so I grabbed it. Again, clean case. No eco. The disc is... Okay, a little dusty. Little dusty, little tiny bit of dust. No major. Uh, after reading up the uh, reviews on this one, I decided to get it. Asylum of the Damned. Uh, looks interesting. Um, clean throughout. Uh, disc is looking good. No dust. No problem. As long as there's no big scratches or scuff marks in it, you know? That's all I really worry about. Asylum of the Damned. I read up on it and they said, any lover of true horror will love this one, and blah, 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 so on and so forth. I'm like, alright, fine, you sold me. Get the rest of these out. You stay over there, Mr. Box. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Bangoria presents Gore's own video, The Last Horror Movie. I'm sure plenty of you have seen this one. I liked it. I saw it cheap. One penny. Grabbed it. And the story should be the same with this one as well. Extra clean. Super clean. Loving it. Loving it. Abunda Trade. Remember the name. If you're into getting... Good quality stuff at decent prices, not getting bent over on the quality. Those are your boys right there, Abundant Trade. Uh, Dead of Winter. I don't know, it just looked interesting to me. One of those types of movies, you know. Ghosts on the Road or something like that, I don't know. Combines the bleak cold winter terror of 30 Days a Night with the chilling white knuckle tension of The Shining. Uh, I'll bet you there's no vampires in it, just the fact that there's a lot of snow everywhere. Uh, I don't know, but I am definitely going to check this one out. I love stuff like this. Uh, yeah. Dead of Winter. Gotta love that. And here's one called Dead and Gone. Dead and Gone. You only think you're alone. A bloody good time, and I do mean bloody. Right up there with me. Let me read a little bit of this to you. Trophy husband Jack Wade kidnaps his comatose wife and ex-Hollywood studio executive in an attempt to kill her so that he can collect on her life insurance after she screwed him out of access to her finances. Typical story. When she comes back from the dead to haunt him, Jack can't distinguish reality from delirium. His secrets come to the foreground and he ends up destroying himself, both figuratively and literally. I think they just gave away the fucking movie. It's alright. Still gonna watch it. It's a Lionsgate release. 
And one fingerprint. Come on, guys. You're slipping. You should give me these with no fingerprints. What happened since the last disc? Oh, my hair's getting all out of place. It's too humid. I'll let my hair grow out a little bit, too. Look. <laughs> I'm so pretty. Okay, and the last one. Wow. I think I did get one that was average. It wasn't good or very good, because look at the cover. Big old chunk of that cover missing. But I believe, if I remember correctly, it did say it in the description, part of the cover art would be missing. I took my chances on it anyway. Autopsy, a love story. Guy falls in love with a cadaver. Enough said. I'm, I'm in. Put me in. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. Uh, this one is a little scuffy, but only in the center of the disc, in the very center, like not even in the playing field, in the little part in the middle that doesn't get any action. So, not too worried about that. Yep, and that is what I got. It's like Christmas, it's over too soon, you know. Um, hopefully next month I'll be back and ordering a few other little goodies here and there. Maybe going out and actually buying some videos instead of ordering them. I don't know. It depends on the weather and how I feel. But it is so good to be back here in this realm. And so good to be back with all of you. I want to thank each and every one of you who showed support while I was gone, who commented on the videos and, and left me messages saying, come back soon, come back. You know, I, I appreciate it. Anyone, I appreciate people who who stay faithful okay and don't give up and uh, don't give up on me especially I have to appreciate that so thank you one and all and um, again thank you Claudia for your hospitality as I said and for the very 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 cool movies that I got oh would you look at this look at this look at this haul I didn't have to go anywhere I just had to sit at the computer and order stuff I can do that all day and night if I have the money. Woohoo! <laughs> I want to be like Summer the God and have a big old stack of stuff to show you guys. That'll happen one day. You watch. Ah, I just dropped all my presents everywhere. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, guys, I am tired. I really need a nap. And it's hot. I'm going to sit in front of the fan, chill out. Have a cold drink and settle into my my throne, if you will. But uh, again, thank you all for watching. This is Mr. Cinema Junkie signing out. Peace and stay horror, everyone. Stay horror. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>